ಸದಾಶಿವ ಸಮಾರಂಭಾಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತಾಂ ಒಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಪೊನ್ನಾರ್ ಮೇನಿಯನೆ ಪುಲಿತೋಲೆಯ ಐಕ್ಕಸೈತ್ ಮಿನ್ನಾರ್ ಶೆಂಜಡೇಲ್ ಅಣೆಂದವನೇ ಮನ್ನೆ ಮಾಮಣಿಯೇ ಮಲಪ್ಪಾಡಿಯುಳ್ ಮಾಣಿಕ್ಯಮೆ ಅನ್ನೆ ಉನ್ನೆಯಲ್ಲ ಲಿನಿ ಯಾರೇ ನಿನಕ್ಕೇನೆ ಪ್ರಣಾಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಪರ್ವೇಸಿವ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಶಿವ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಗುರು ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೀನಿಯೇಜ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಟು ಅನದರ್ ನೋಟ್ ವರ್ ದಿ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೀರ್ತಿ ವಿಕಥನ ಫಾರ್ ಯಟ್ ಅನದರ್ ರಸಾನುಭವ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ದ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪರಂಪರ ಆಫ್ ಗುರುಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹೂಮ್ ವಿ ಲರ್ನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದೆಮ್ ಇಂಬೈಬ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟೆನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ಪರಂಪರ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಆರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಏಕಲವ್ಯ ಶಿಷ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಚ್ ಗುರುಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ರೀಸನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದೆನ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಇನ್ಸ್ಪೈರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದಟ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಅವರ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿ ವುಡ್ ಹವ್ ಇಂಬೈಬ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ರೋಲ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಟುಡೇ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಹಂಬ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಟು ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಸಿಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ next to one of my role models like that hmm. madurai gs mani sir and i don't know how many fans he has had but i don't have many role models and he, he is one of the pinnacles of uh, music and bhakti that we can find a living legend a simple person and uh, i don't know what to say ಯಥೋ ವಾಚೋ ನಿವರ್ತಂತೆ ಅಪ್ರಾಪ್ಯ ಮನಸಾ ಸಹ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಓವರ್ ಕಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಮೋಷನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಸಿಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಹೂಮ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಆನ್ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಸ್ ಮೆಸ್ಮರೈಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಹಿಸ್ ಹುಸೇನಿ ಹಿಸ್ ಕಾನಡ ನಾಟಕುರಂಜಿ ಸೊ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಸರ್ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಹಾರ್ಟಿ ಪ್ರಣಾಮ್ ಟು ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಕೀರ್ತಿ ವಿಕಥನ ಸೊ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೈಮ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸರ್ವ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಮೈ ಗಾಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಯು ಅ ಫ್ಯೂ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೋ ಅ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ so for all this 75 years to become fruitful the first 15 years are something which put the building block and the foundation how was that in what uh, which uh, state were you born and brought up how was the atmosphere yes sir. <coughs> i was born in 1934 april 34 ha huh. we belong to madurai for 400 years that's why i carry that name madurai before my name my teacher music teacher first music teacher was jalatarangam babu ayyanga who was the grandson of puchi ayyanga puchi ayyanga had only one daughter and her son is babu ayyanga who was a jalatarangam specialist under whom my first Uh, lessons were started. I was a very big fan of Nagaswaram music. Huh. I used to run after people who play. In those days there were many stalwarts there who were visiting Madurai during temple and other things. I developed my hearing by listening to them. <coughs> So I used to come and imitate how they were playing and all that. Oh. That's how probably I could say my raga singing developed itself. My teacher, Babu Yengar, he used to say, Mani, 
நீ சங்கீதத்தோடையே பிறந்திருக்கேனா யூ ஆர் பார்ன் வித் மியூசிக் குட்டு டாரு அதை டெவலப் பண்ணு டெவலப் பண்ணு டோன்ட் லீவ் மியூசிக் யூ டெவலப் இட் யூ டெவலப் இட் தட்ஸ் வாட் யூ யூஸ் தட் இஸ் ஹவ் இட் கேம் டு பி இன் ஐ டிட் நாட் ஸ்ட்ரைவ் மச் ஃபார் பிகமிங் ஏ கான்செப்ட் பர்சன் ஐ நெவர் டியூ ஐ வில் பி ஏ கான்செப்ட் மேன் பட் தி லவ் ஃபார் மியூசிக் ஐ ஸ்டார்ட் அட் ஸ்டடிங் வேரியஸ் கிரந்தஸ் in sanskrit in english in tamil and so on so i enriched my knowledge to a considerable extent and i was very particular about the grammar of any raga and when i used to sing and all that i used to sing the swara part of it also i want to make a note here for people who are listening to me if anybody wants to start music teach them the sudha swara first hmm. plain notes if they have if they have grasped the plain notes okay then you can tell them about the gamaga oscillation so whatever it is then it follows sudha swara is the most important most important thing and we never teach children with a tambura no they will find it very difficult to go in unison with this ruti you teach them with the harmonium mm. the sound is big and they will be able to make them stay in sa pa sa brilliantly well doesn't matter even if it takes a month they should get to know that sa pa sa then antaragandara an kakale nishara then chatushruti rishaba and chatushruti daivata teach them stage by stage it will take us at 3 months or 4 months before they finish this course so never start with sarigama padani as usual as routine no that is not how music could you are only giving them tables not music if you want them to become real musician they should know what sudha swara sar after there are only 12 notes they can be Uh, guided to that maybe within 3 months or 4 months those 3 or 4 months are very very essential for anybody who wants to learn and who wants to become a concert vidwan and then after some time you have to tell them we say normally sarigama padanisa sanidya pamagrisa arohana mandavarohana The ascending order is called Arohanam, the descending order is called Avarohanam. But many do not know. I specifically say many do not know. Each Swara in Ragas, either they are ascending Swara, they are Arohana Swara or Avarohana Swara. That you have to understand. In Kalyani, all the notes are Avarohana Swaras. You mm-hmm. sing and find it out slowly. In Shankara Bharadam, it is all ascending, Arohana Swaras. After that, then teach them the value of Madhyama. This is how music has to be taught to students. They will be really brilliant musicians if they develop. This is, this is the foundation, this is the only foundation on which the music edifice will be built. Shruti orientation is very, very, very important. The passage of time, I am unable to tell you about Tarastai Shadya. Tops are to, a uni- to go in unison with the Tarastai Shadya. He is a yoga by itself. Unless you have the divine grace, you cannot align with the Tarastai Shadya. People do not know. It is almost merging with the Brahman, which is ever pervasive. All pervading Brahman. When you say the top sa, tarastai shadya, you are, uni- you are uniting the sound with the Brahman present there in you are completely enveloping you. It calls for divine grace. So music has to be God by praying to God. Unless you have the divine grace, you cannot sing, you cannot become a musician. This is the formula with which our, age, 
our elder, elder senior gurus taught us. Ishwara Bhaktya, Ishwara and the Shraddha and completely dependent on Ishwara, that the divine, then alone your music will shine. You will understand what music is, that alone the shining part of it. Otherwise, you are just a also run case, that's all. <laughs> because our music is definitely, I know in my experience, it is very, very definitely divine oriented. You cannot just treat it as any other music. Even the whole global music, Western music, several music systems are there. Nothing can touch our classical music. Our music is not normally when I speak in universities, foreign countries, they, I tell them our music, our music, Indian classical, South Indian, Carnatic music is totally analog. The digital is not used at all, like the Western system. So that's a big subject itself. I don't want to take to that now because of shortage of time. So learning music, Sita, Avara Sangeeta, Gihanama, Dhata, Rival, unless it is written in your blueprint, in what they say, Talayaritu in Tamil they say, in Kannada they say it is Hanebara. Hanebara. Ah. Unless it is written, nobody could touch music. It is not that easy. It is something divine. Unless you humble yourself to the music, whether you are going to sing, especially for vocalists, you have, suddenly you have to humble yourself to the music. It is a ocean. It is a ocean. Even after having spent 70, 75 years of concert singing, I still feel too small before the ocean before which I stand. When I think about it, when I, at home when I used to sing all alone to myself, automatically my eyes will water. That is, the weeping will be taking place not that I wanted to weep, <laughs> the eyes will be. That is the inherent quality of Karnataka Sangeeta. It's just nothing but, I have understood it, I can tell you, I can vouch for it. It is divine. It is divine and divine and divine. You can't treat it like any other music. So you have to approach music with all the humility and all respect. Even to spell, Sa, you have to take the grace of the divine, otherwise, you will not go in unison with the other Ashadja. And when you sing this Swaras, you don't know the chakras are operating. We have six chakras, plus one, seven, which is Sagasrara, that doesn't come under chakra. Basic six chakras are there, all are activated. And that gives you health. Music, if you sing, you get tremendous health. It keeps you well, it keeps you well. That is the effect of singing. You need not be a concert with one. You may sing. You sing at home with the Suti. You produce it. This, you produce the noise. You produce the sound. That gives you the sonar energy, what we say, sound energy. That builds up your health, cleanses your blood, and cleanses your brain also. That is the greatness of Carnatic music. I can go on talking about the greatness of Carnatic music for four or five hours. <clears throat> but this is the important thing I wanted to convey through this interview, that music is nothing but divine. I learned from Babu Yanga. Then I developed a lot of great interest in listening to Nadas for the drums, playing. In those days, there were several stalwarts were there. I used to run for such concerts to listen to the music, that developed the raga seeking in me. If you heard me in any one concert or video or whatever it is, you could see my music is based on wind, wind instrument, mm -hmm. of course. And the string instrument that is Veena is also there. But my favorite is to bring the best available in me. 
and that could be expressed only through the fast, fast mode of singing. What we say, not alone brigas. My music consists contains not alone brigas, something else also in it, which I have imbibed from Nadaswara. And then I, of course, did my schooling and I did my college all at Madurai, all at Madurai. And later, after my teacher Babu Yengar, I was taken to music great in 1943 Sangeeta Kalani, Madhavarayana Indal, here at Karaikudi. I used to go to Karaikudi by bus, three and a half hours to four hours from Madurai. Take the Friday bus, stay there for Saturday and Sunday. Sunday evening by four o'clock, I get into the bus, get back to Madurai. This was, I did it all in my college days. Sheer love of music, sheer love of music. What was your qualification, sir? Your college yet? Uh, yes, I because did my degree. I am a BA. I did my economics degree. Your English is so beautiful. Hmm? Your English is so beautiful. Oh, that, sir. My, my English is beautiful. Oh, thank <laughs> you very much. The credit goes to my father <clears throat> and other teachers of mine in schools and colleges and my, what we say, Chinnal Tata, hmm. grandfather, my grandfather's Younger brother. I used to, because of his eyesight, he used to make me sing you know, read every day the Hindu in the morning. Oh. That's how, and he used to tell me the meaning of such words which I didn't know then. And he did. And of course, I had my own uh, love for English, and I did it. And my father used to encourage me, and I, he will always insist me to listen to BBC News. Huh. An Indian, all India radio news by Melville de Mello. That's how I picked up my English. And of course I have, I, personally I was interested in improving English. I did so. And whenever I go to English films, I used to hear such words and then come and practice at home. <laughs> okay. The films started playing. That is why even when I lecture in foreign universities, many have come and told me, sir, you are speaking. Queen's English, sir. It's okay, <laughs> fine. Thank you. So, you know, if, my, if you practice, nothing is impossible for you. Nothing is impossible for you. Uh -huh. And I, at Subramir, the higher levels of music, other, other layers of music I came to know. Not that he taught me directly, one to one. Hmm. He used to talk to people who come and uh, visit him. Many Vidwans used to come to my master Subhanama here and they will throw their doubts and he will clarify it. That's a, in such meetings I have gathered a lot. Uh, uh. That is the greatness of Subhanama here. And he never, he never taught me by making me sitting in front of him teaching in it, Kriti or mm. nothing. Nothing of the thought. He was speaking and speaking and speaking to others that gathered many. What they say, they gathered wood. Uh. I did so. And then he finally blessed me. He blessed me profusely. You will shine in music. Go ahead. That blessing is working. And I am a profound believer in the Asirvadam of elders. Hmm. Next to divine grace, which we do not know, we ask for grace, whether we got it or not, we don't know. Uh -huh. But anyway, it will come to you, no sort of ask. Ask for it, the Divine will definitely give you that, no doubt about it. But here, elderly man blesses, blessing you, Ayushman Bhava, Sampurna Sangeeta Pratirastu. All, they come to help, they come to help and they definitely help you. That is why our junior boys and girls must be taught to prostrate before the seniors whoever visit their house. Hmm. It's very important. Dodora Asirvada, very, very important. You know, the Hotre, success in life is very difficult. Very difficult. You can take it from me. If Dunda Dutta or Asir was a bala, one day saku. Very bala. So, this is my clarion call. I used to tell my youngsters if you meet any elder, just prostrate. 
whether he knows to bless you or not, no, doesn't matter. You know the reason? Because they are so much a senior to you. Suppose I'm a boy of 20, I'm prostrating before a man of 70. What is the difference? He is 50 years elder to me. The 50 years of time, 50 years of kala is in him. In Gita, what Krishna says, kalos me. I am the time. So you don't know you are prostrating to Lord Sri Krishna. That is the secret. Which I learned from elders, of course. It's not my own <laughs> conclusion. Seniors who told me, do you know why you prostrate before seniors? Because they have the advantage of time in them. And the advantage of time in them, okay, it's okay. Anybody has the advantage of time when he grows old. No, 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 no. In Bhagavan, Krishna says in Gita, Kalos me. I am the time. So the time is there in that senior man. So the Sri Krishna is there. When you namaskar, Om Ramahavati Vasudeva, he, he, Krishna is there. So Krishna Sasiradam is there. Whenever, uh, whatever he says, Ayushman Bhava, Aravadrida Ayurarga, Isvariya Prabhupada, it will happen to you. And it, it has happened in my case and it is happening even now, I tell you. So I reiterate, I repeat, repeat with the profound stress. Ashirvada Bhala is very, very, very important. Very important. So, Dodda Varike, Maskara, or Marbeku. There is no second opinion about it. Whether, it. whether the elderly person is a he or she, doesn't matter. If you do it for ten people, at least a couple of them will be really wonderful people whose blessings will start working on you. Correct. This is something. And my, when, I left my, when I left my Guru, Madhavarayananda Subramanian, I prostrated before him because I was going to Delhi. I got a job in Delhi after my degree. He blessed me. These are the same words I remember even now. Paripurna Sangeeta Prapti Rastu. That is working in me. That is what Madhuri is money is. If you have any credit, giving to me, it goes to that Ashirvada. As of, I am a zero, I am nothing. I am as ordinary as a rickshaw driver, auto rickshaw driver outside. And as I develop, developing in my musical career, it automatically developed me towards divine also. And I started understanding Without the divine grace, you cannot even open your mouth and say sa. That was my biggest understanding in my life. That is why I now say, without divine grace you cannot sing. Many people do not know Ishra Anugraha. Nobody understands it. Nobody knows it. The modern boys, they want proof of it. How, could, how to give the proof? After all, you are only 18 or 20 years old with a little intellect. You want to understand mm -hmm. things which is far, far, far ahead of things and all that. The youngsters have the, now they have, they are capable of questioning you. Before they question or questioning, they don't want to study what is behind it. You have to study things. Suppose if you want to question me in music, you have to study music and then come and question me. You cannot just come and ask me, put a question to me. Suppose if I answer, you may not understand. That's the whole problem. <laughs> music is not a matter to be understood. Music is a matter of realization. It is a matter of realization. I can tell you it is nothing but tapas. It is tapas. It is the heat when you sing that gives you the music. Once again, the heat. That is why they start. They have given so much an importance in Rigveda. Agni me, de puro That's how it starts. The Agni. Prana anala agni. Pranavanadamu sattva suramalai baraka. Swami says in Moksha Bhagavata. Prana anala sam. Yoga Muvalla Pranavanadamu Satta 
ಸ್ವರಮುಲೈ ಬರಗ ವೀಣವಾದನ ಲೋಲು ಶಿವಮನು ವಿಧ ಮೆರುಗರು ಸಾಗರ ಜವೀನು ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಮೋಗಲ ಸೇಜ್ ವೀಣಾವಾದನು ಲೋಲು ಡೈ ಶಿವಮನು he gives credit he is shishya devata is rama hmm. but he gives credit to shiva for music in a, in, a, in one another kirtane kirtana inta sokhya banne in kaapi kanda chakra mishram cheshi bujiginche aa shankaroni ki telusunu what the shankara no he he only knows music nada tanu manisham shankaram it but uh he had the emphasis is much greater on shiva kanda chakra me so he vara nama kirtana ke so what is that he emphasizes what does that shiva how does he know music what does he say that the question comes shiva says you chant rama nama veenula akashi pati neenama palkada nitya roopa evari pandita de sankriti in darbar ಭಾನುಭಗಲುರೇಯುರೇತಚಾಲುಚೂಡಡ್ಡಿತ್ಯಗರಾಜವಿಮುಕ್ತಮಹಿಮಾಸ್ಪತಮೌಲಿಮು
the nearby well I draw water for the Abhishekam and do my little whatever I know, Archana and all that, and then get back to get back home, eat my breakfast and run to college. This was done for three full years. And his grace is definitely operating even this minute, even this minute, at least. And I was drawn to, being a Madurai man, I was drawn to Meenakshi out and out. Huh. So every day, both morning and evening, I used to visit the temple. Huh. So for morning, as, as, as she is woken up, I was there. And when, when she go to, when she went to bedroom, I used to sing. Every night. Every night. And all the pujaris there, butters, they will wait for me to come. So I used to run by, precisely by 9, 9, 5 or 9, 10 o'clock in the night, I will be there in the temple to sing for her. Whatever strikes I used to sing, that's how Sahitya came. I never sat down and wrote Sahitya. They came through me, that's all. I disowned the doership. So having, I know they are not mine. So I said, it is Raja Pujita's, my Guru's grace, before Meenakshi. So I gave the title color. So Raja Pujita came into my way. Because in the second song, when I, my friend by name Janardhanam, he said, the second song, Mani, See, look at that Kuranda Swami has come into your song. What is this? Where is it? No, no, you sing the Anupalavi? He said, Tejo Mayananda Devi, Kapalini, Devaraja Bhujita Sanjani, Padasarojam Dehi Mahavad. See, so I was, the composing, the, the words were Devaraja Bhujita Sanjani. So he said the Raja Bhujita. Hereafter, your mudra will be Raja Bhujita. It is occurred in the sum, before Samadhi, Kondha Sumar Then, then on when the Raja Bhujita became my mudra. Tejo Mahayananda Devi Kapalini Devaraja Pujita Ranjani Padasarojam Dehi Mama Vajaya Jaya Rajendra Kanye Giti Sute Gambira Gaja Muga Kumara Janani Mama Vamalaya Dvaja Rajendra Kan This is the song, second song uh-huh. of mine. Which is the first song, sir? First, it was in Tamil. Ah. Kayal kanniye karuna kari Gadi vondru vunayandri verillayadari Kayal kanniye This was my first song. When was this? What age were you at that time? I was in my... Second year college, that is oh. in second year, that is in 1950. So the song itself is 70 plus years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. And, uh, I did my SSLC, you know, I don't know SSLC that was, uh-huh. before I joined the college, it was in 1949. I did my intermediate two years, at 51 I wrote intermediate, got through. And then 1953, unfortunately, I couldn't take up the examination because of something. So I got my degree in 1954 with economics and political science. Uh. Then I left for Delhi. Then my uh, my maternal uncle was sitting parliament member from my constituency. I thought he would help me to get a job there. And unfortunately, I found the job for myself. I worked with American people for four years there, three and a half years. Then my father called me back, I resigned it and came. And took care of my village affairs and all that. That is my personal history that has come here. And how was music? Did music come in your lineage? Kutumbatla I don't... My father did not sing. My mother had books. The knowledge of music very well because she comes... She came from Ayam Petai, about five miles from Tanjur. Hmm. That's all my grandfather, grandmother, nobody. I, I, I have never heard any people telling me your grandfather sang, your grandmother sang, no, nothing else. 
It is a gift, Raja. It is just a gift. I am proud to say I have been chosen. Probably I can tell you with a bit of egoism in me. I was born with music. It is not an egoistic statement. I am making a matter of statement. A statement of truth I am making. Even in seven or eight years or nine years old, I do remember, I used to sing ragas by myself. Huh. Then my teacher got in my money, come on, I will teach you music. That is how Baba Yaga took me. So, it is a property probably I might have, I might have inherited from my previous birth. It may be like it. Because I did not work so much, sadhakam, and there are so many other things there for music. I didn't do any, any such thing at all. It was already there in me. I wonder how it was there, but I have to ascribe it only to my previous birth. Other than <laughs> otherwise, there is no answer. <laughs> so, how did music continue after all this and your return? Yes, I came. And what else? I, but mother, I couldn't do anything. I kept going to my village, attending the village matters and cutting back, going to the temple. Before Meenakshi, I used to sing. At least for half an hour, every night. Every night. Sometimes a news item will come by itself. And my wife used to come with me and she used to note it down. That is how they were preserved. Otherwise, they would have all gone. Anyway, thanks to her, these items were available. Uh, then coming back home, I then write it in my notebook. With the tune? Yes, with the tune. With the tune. Ah. Mostly the tune. So once I sing the tune, even now I tell you, the music part always reminds with me very steadfast. But the words part I forget. Hmm. Even in my concert, my student used to help me. Sometimes I will come and stuck up a particular in the or then she will slowly sing behind me. Uh, My foremost student is Dr. Usha Prasad. Uh, she is MAM Phil and PhD. Uh, she used to do tambura for me and uh, she used to prompt me. <laughs> Obviously that you are forgetting Mama. What to do? <laughs> I forget that song. <laughs> Mama, you are a Every sense of the term you are an artist, no, 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 don't give me that credit. That no. And the most I sang, I started singing and singing, singing, music started taking me to spiritual side. Mm. And, uh, so I did not have an opportunity to sing at home. So I used to go to bhajans. Ah. Sampradaya bhajans at home. So every Monday, every Ekadashi, every Saturday, somebody will be there. Any particular people who influenced you? Pudukkotai Brahmasri Gopalaksha Bhagavadar. Ah. I have been, with, I had been with him for 20 years. 20 years I had been with him. I have known, I have completely known his Paddhati. If I sing anything in Nama Sankirtanam, it's because of him. And people of my age, many would have had his darshan. Otherwise, they are really unfortunate, I could say. He was, we didn't, we didn't see Tyagaraja, but I could see Tyagaraja in him. He was Brahmasri Gopalaksha Bhagavadara, Pudukkotai, a place close to me. Whenever he used to come to Madurai, at times he, would, he, come, he will come and stay with us. And there was one advocate lecturer with whom he used to stay. And the moment he comes, every day the Vunchavarti will be there, the evening bhajan will be there. His bhajan will start by 7 o'clock and end by morning 4 o'clock. Oh. Because of Dolo also. Sometimes even Divyanama will be there. Several things are there. So, I am basically I am a bhajanist, Sampradaya bhajanist. Then alone I am a concert man. My homeland is Nama Sankirtana. That is my motherland from which I came. And now, then I started doing kacheri and all that. So, my hand in Nama Sankirtanam did not go. Always it was there. I was with Nama Sankirtanam. Wherever there was Nama Sankirtanam, I used to go and do it. Even in Marghiri Bhidi Bhajan in Mailapur, 
Now because of my age, I am unable to go, otherwise I used to be there. Take, singing in the bhajans on the street in Marhidi Masa, in Dharun Masa, Nagara Sankirtan of Desi. Mm. Mm. So my love for bhajans, uh, something I should say, it is inseparable from me. Can you just sing any two lines of some bhajan? Why two lines of bhajan? Muragarana kadhar mukunda madhav garuda gamana pankajana ba paramapurusha pavahanjana kesha naramurga sarira namo namo narayana te namo namo narada saunuta namo namo Deva Narayana Te Namo Namo Adi Deva Sakala Gamma Puja It goes on like that. This is Tode Mangalam. Tode Mangalam. I love, I love Tode Mangalam. See, anything and everything is Hari's name. That is important. That is important. You know, here I want to inform you. This is an age-old thing called Achyutayanavaha, Anantayanavaha, Govindayanavaha. This is what is, any Sandhyavandam starts with it. It is called Namatraya Astra. Astra. It can cure any disease, any disease, I tell you. In my experience, at least I can quote about eight or nine cases where I suggested these things. The three namas and they, been, they did, of course, two didn't but others rest forward it. They got out of the disease. I was totally to see the effect of it. Then I firm believer in Achyutaya Nama, Anantaya Nama, Govindaya Nama. Namatraya Astra. They are called Astra. Because this was used to by Devi when she fought Bhandasura. This is of course it. So, if you are interested, people who are seeing this interview, please take to Achyutaya Namaha, Anantaya Namaha, Govindaya Namaha. Any disease, I assure you, will go. You will be back to health. Now they say, apart from it, see, when I talk about music, I have to say all these things because it is spiritual and divine by itself. I have to. So I take the opportunity to inform something useful for people who are witnessing this. I want my people to be healthy. I want them to be healthy. The wealthy, they will take care of themselves. <laughs> but I want them to be healthy. Sakyama bhojaram pandindu sauri markanam. Arogi markanam. So, do little bit of exercise every day in the morning. Spend only 10 minutes or 15 minutes, not more than that. Some Bend your body here and there. That's enough. You have to do some exercise. This is after all, this body is a machine. You have to harness it well. What they say, you have to man the show. You have to man your body well. Little bit of, not more than 15, 20 minutes. No, no, don't worry. I don't say you should go to gym and all. No. Some little or four or five yoga, yoga slash, that will, that will do. That will keep you healthy. That is keeping me healthy. I am even even today I do my yoga asanas every day in the morning, and I look at, I take care of my ball clock, and it shows me twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Right now I am sitting on Sir's yoga mat. Wherever I go, I speak about yoga. Only with the interest, the person who is listening to me, he will be healthier. And he can eat whatever he feels like eating. No sugar, no cholesterol, no BP. I assure you, if you take two, few, two or three yoga asanas, I, I assure you, this is not why I am not assuring it is the great Patanjali, who came from Naga, Naga Loga, but that's what the history says. He was the one of the leaders of Naga Loga. He came here and taught. 
you know, Patanjali is a half snake and half man. As Narasimha, half lion and half man. So all the yoga people, they worship Patanjali. So incidentally, music, of course, I can only speak about Sarigama Patanjali. When it comes to you, I have to speak about uh, this yoga, this uh, divine, everything. I'm, I'm a, 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 whatever I say about divinity, I'm a sort of too small a fellow to talk about divinity and all that. But still, having experienced the benefits of the divinity, I cannot but talk to you about it. Every split second it is protecting you. Please understand. So the morning I start with the Saundra Lagari Sloga. Kunat Kanchi Dama Garikalapa Kumbas Tanabhara Parikshina Maji Parinita Sarashchandra Vadana Dhanur Bhanan Pasan Shunamapi Dadana Karatalai Prasthata Samna Purumati Turaho Purushika. I start with that. And I am experiencing her guidance, her protection. Her leading me, tell me things. It should happen to anybody. You, you say any sloka. Even if you say Gajadaram Bhuta Ganadi Sivadam Kapitta Jambu Paradhara Pakshita, Uma Sutam Soka Vedasgar, Namabhik, Grace Varapato, that is also enough. That Gajaraja will come and help you. Do it sincerely. Faith is very important. Any sloka is nothing but a machine, but it is the petrol. Faith is the petrol. You have to go for it. And I assure you, I assure you, I assure you. Satyam Satyam Vadam Yam. <laughs> the Divine will help you if you pray for it. You pray for it. Prathana Madri Bhagavad Kriba Avacha Chiktu. Aul. Sande Mada. Sande Mada. Any other questions, sir? How did you move to Chennai, sir? In 1975, see, after my father's passing away, and uh, my village properties were all shrunk because of government schemes and all sorts of stuff. I don't go. So I have to make a living. And how many siblings were you? Uh, we are seven. Oh. I, I have two elder sisters and a third one, two younger sisters and two younger brothers. Ah. We are seven. Any other singers? Hmm? Any other singers among All of us sing. Okay. <laughs> but I am the only fellow who sings Carnatic music. Oh, okay, okay. My eldest sister used to sing, but she passed away recently. She was uh, 94, she passed away. Oh. <clears throat> anyway. That's why all of us, so is it some theoretical factor, I don't know. And uh, I had to move to, to make my living, I had to come to Chennai. In 1975, when I, when I finished my 40th year, I came to Chennai. Oh. Straight away I came to Basanagar, I am continuing to stay. Ah. When I came to Basile, there were only about maybe 15, 20 houses, nothing but sand everywhere, and one corporation building with one, two stories. There's no bus there. I had to go to Adaya to catch a bus. And to go for a concert, it's a big problem. I have to carry my luggage to Adaya and then take an auto and go. Everything is there. So I'm a resident of Besanagara for the past 45 years. And I've said now, Besan, even one cent you cannot get now. <laughs> one ground costs you some crores, it seems. Uh, oh, I don't I'm not remembering. Uh, anyway, having moved to Madras, I was taken, very well taken care of the divine. By the divine, I was taken care of. I never suffered for even for 10 rupees. Though the payments for Kacheris, the concerts were very meager. Still, I had a lot of concerts. Local, all over India I was traveling. Sometime later I started moving globally. What are the uh, countries you have told for your concerts? Excepting Russia and Australia. Excepting 
Russia and Australia. I have gone to all other countries. I have visited states for eight times. I have lectured in American universities, German universities. I'm not speaking about humble to no, know, it's a truth. Manasara Sakshani Kripaleha Manasamartha Mameme Unnati Manasa Vridha Garva Metike Maharajala Ena Manajulai Kada Manasagata Yuddhamu Chayadanta Manasadhya Manayadani Pandavudu Manasara Venkatesha Sharanamana Sarati Uchi Brava Leda This is Patan Subramanya's Kriti in Abhogi Manasa Vridha Garva Metike Manasa Vridha Garva Metike you were the only one who used to sing this composition those days. Manasagasa yudha muche yananta Manasadhyo mu leda nipanda hul Manasara venka tesha charana Manasara tiye Vachi brova leda Manasarati Vachi brova leda Manasarada Galva medi Magara jule Manu jule kada Manasarada Galva medi Whenever I sing Abodhi, I, Abodhi, I give stress to the Gandhara. The gun. Sadi ga ga madha ga madha sadam ga hi sadam ga hi This is our own raga. This Gamaka scheme is somewhat akin to Hindustani. Also, they follow this the Gamakas. No. Were you influenced uh, by Hindustani uh, also? I, I know Hindustani music. No, 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 no. This, they don't use Gamaka as we do. Mm. Our Gamakas are Veena oriented. Theirs are, not, that is to say, uh, the Sormar. Okay. They have a Gamaka also, but not like this. Jalani Purna Dhu Yabhakta Kuchel Snehitam It is a good bit. Singing Darbari here at the same bed with a Shruti, of course. When I, when I came down, Gari Sada Nipaga Mari Sada. When I saw that Ga, I felt the entire Daivatam was in the entire room. Ah. I felt that Such a powerful room. note. Ah. Powerful note. Then I started, each Raga has some powerful note. That is how the search started. And I'm very fond of Mandara Devata, Sadhana Devata. Sadhana. That can 
you can just uh, slip down. Uh. You cannot slip down to any other note like that. Are the mare? I have learned from Hindustani music also the way how they reach Swara is something beautiful. Where did you learn this, sir? Hmm? Why, where did you learn the Hindustani? I, because I was working in Delhi for four years. Oh, I have listened to great stalwarts there and I have listened to at least 100 Kavalis. Ah. Tremendous singers. Kavalis. Can't touch them. Brilliant. And I was a pet. I was kept as a pet by Bhagamakar. Uh, he uh, always used to call me Beta. And I, <clears throat> every month on Friday, uh, Saturday evening, I left for Lakram. And Sunday I spent with uh, Bhagamakar at Lakram, old Lakram. Then got back, evening by uh, 6 o'clock. Sunday, you know, 6 o'clock, what got back to Delhi. Uh -huh. So, you see, I have walked miles and miles, traveled miles and miles to be there. Sheer love for music. And incidentally, I never knew I will become a concert player. Uh -huh. And I was not prepared for it. It quite dawned on me. That is why I say Ishwara Daya, Ishwara Karma. Sir, you have told us quite a lot about your vast journey in music one very uh, nice aspect ippo nadiya pair pannindirka but andu naalile ninga pannirke cinema music um and our music eppadi thonithu and how was it received by people well, as i start up singing and singing i was diving deep into carnatic music i was diving deep deep and deep into the carnatic music i saw the glory of the Carnatic music. And the glory of the Carnatic music, why should it? It's because our Carnatic music rested only within a small circle. Hmm. <coughs> it was never given for Am Janata. For ordinary people, it was not given. I don't want to go to politics, but anyway, it confined itself to only a small circle. But I could see other people, ordinary people, while, while I was traveling in the train, many years, practically I slept on the railway bus easily 20 nights every month. Easily 20 months. So when, when some farmer will be there with his daughter, and this part of the are you going for a concert? My, my daughter also used to sing. Sir. Oh, let me hear, come on, ask her to sing. Uh, she knows only she needs, but doesn't matter, come on. She will sing. She will sing Manu Nandanadi, something, some Carnatic music, some. Spotless, they will sing. I heard, Mullai Malan Mele, Moikum Mandu Pole, Thulli Vila Yadu Unnan Bale. Something like this. Perfect Kannada. There is no preaching anyway. But a farmer's daughter, only about 12, 12 13 years old, such a, such a thing, such an experience, four or five times occurred during my travel. People unconnected. Then I thought, these people must be given a chance to know Carnatic music. But they know only cinema music. We will go through that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that is how I conceived a program. Not that I conceived, it came to me. I chose from 1940s. Then classical music was in full. From there till the present day. Out all the classical things, I collected them and brought them under the program. So Karnataka Sium Cinema, that was the title. 
and now the same Karnataka music game cinema is done by my student Chakrapani in Kerala. Mm-hmm. He's now become he was mm-hmm. nobody. Now he's a, Chakrapani is a big name there. Mm-hmm. What a crowd he! But paisa la orda chakra. Sir, or program be lakh shuru bhai sir. Per program lakh shuru bhai good good koi an koi an ananda santosha anna. Sukhi Baba, Sukhi Baba used to bless him. I told him. I have done many programs Karnataka film cinema. I have adding that. I have not seen lakh. I do this. You know, I am happy. God is kind to you. Go ahead with that. His programs are full house. Are you going? Chakrapani. Ah, no sir, get away. KJ Chakrapani. Okay. Or Kumbhalu Pali. Okay, okay, okay. He now stays at Valari. What time in your name? Are you going? Are you going? Are you going? He comes from a very very poor background, so I took him as my student. I taught him music. Then I told him, "It's very difficult to come come up in your Carnatic. Take this program and do it. You sing cinema songs well." He did it. Now, na pannala they mari padu ama. God has given him good voice. Nanna arkato. Nanna. So, yappri pani ne lind program. Karnataka is a young cinema. Suppose I, I take Kalyani, I tell them Kalyani, please wait. So I immediately I sing, Manavam Vandanadi Thori Manjatile Yirand Nanjatile Amar Manavam Vandanadi Sindhanai Seempanavi ృతి For this program, I used to admire always household program. People used to fill the halls, huh. and then I gave cassettes, three cassettes. Now in uh, this LP form, huh. they are good. they are selling good. Indigo Company is selling good. They say, sir, your cassettes are. Good. Even now they are in great demand, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> This is how. So I wanted the Carnatic music to reach the ordinary man, <coughs> and I am happy it has reached. It has reached. <coughs> Though all the sabhas of Chennai, in Chennai, they criticised me because I am singing film songs. Uh, Sir, why not be serious? We will book a GS money. No, no, sir. He is singing cinema songs. We don't want him, sir. This is how I got the name. I don't. I didn't bother me. My service to people is more than what I. Even otherwise, the music field. Not alone now. Even from seventy, eighty years back till now, and I don't know. It's not a clear field. It is filled with the people of jealousy, ego, and uh, uh, favoritism. And you know, it has become almost a commercial field. It has become a commercial field. It's so, okay. That's the order of the days. We can't blame them. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not criticizing them. But this is the state of affairs here. And our artists are also they are demanding big money and all that. It's so, okay, fine. I'm happy. My fraternity is taking good money after the concert. <laughs> If a man takes ten thousand rupees for the concert, I feel very happy. For the same concert, I was 
we were given for this set 500 rupees. Any other questions, sir? Sir, one important question. Vivadam illa de vivadi padrel linga. Nariya padrel and you are uh, association with AIR. Yes, Rajam, sir. And the Moolak Maha. Yes, Rajam, sir. Kalyana Raman, sir. My first program in all India was 1950. Huh. I was in my first intern, my first year college. That day, all India Radio was in Edmore, huh. not the present building. And I was given a half an hour slot. Huh. And I will be given a check for 30 rupees. Do you remember what you sang in that? Hmm? Do you remember what you sang in that concert? First song was Vijayam Vike Vimala. That was my first song. Uh, I don't know, I sang that. And from that grade, that is the grade or whatever grade, I don't know. Slowly, by the issue of I became the top grade artist. Uh -huh some 20 years back and then I became light music that's also a grade but uh, and I'm a composer of first grade composer in all India mm. <coughs> as I came to Chennai I was supported by du then Durdarshan also was coming mm. it supported me I get lot of programs in Durdarshan lot of programs that kept my pot boiling. And then slowly concerts started coming. And... Uh, uh, one second, sir. Yen Aito. Yen Aito. Nail Nod Koti Dini. Madhya Matar Beda. Ali Yen Aito Mar Beda. Don't distract. Sorry, sir. Please continue. I got... <coughs> I got concerts. Majority of concerts were in Kerala state. Hmm. Tamil Nadu, not much of, uh, except in Chennai and uh, Coimbatore. Coimbatore, the Ramanam also was. Occasionally at Trichy and Salem. Otherwise, not much. Andhra, first place is Kerala, then Andhra. Huh. Then once in a way we go to Bombay, we go to Calcutta, we go to Delhi. That's how it on and off I was travelling to Kerala. And Kerala the people used to like Carnatic music. Even now. Mm. Even now. You get good audience. Mm. They understand what you sing. Karnataka Sangeetam Jeevichi Virke. If it is even with the life, even now, it is only because of Kerala. That's my opinion. In fact, it is a pretty subjective opinion. Kerala still respects Carnatic music. Ah. They come in good numbers to listen to any concert. Any concert. So you were talking about the Vivadi Ragas. Ah, Vivadi Ragas. Rajam Sun. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I am a harmonium player also. Oh. I play harmonium. <coughs> when in the Western music, it's a model shift. Huh. What we say. Grihavedam. When, when we do it of Grihavedam, you get two notes, unlike notes come. Mm -hmm. Suppose if a Raha has a Pratimadimam and Panchamam, mm -hmm. if you shift your key, the Pratimadimam and Panchamam become adjacent notes. Saga, Saga, Sari, something like that will come. So when you play, you will find. That's why, that's how Venkatamaki found out, he gave the name as Shakshudarishava. Huh. Because it has six counts in it. Sadhana Rishava, Chatus Sutri Rishava and Shat Sutri Rishava. Hmm. Six counts. Six counts for that. So what happens to Re Da, Re Ga, happens to Da and Ni, hmm. complementary. So that interested me very well. When I was playing, I was getting the swarup of the raga. 
when he played Chalanata, I was immensely pleased to, to play Chalanata in my harmonium. But that didn't give me satisfaction. I started singing. Yeah. Because what voice could do can a harmonium uh. do? In Chalanata, there is a Kriti by Koti Shreyar, who has done for all the 72 plans. I took his Kriti. Madaya Kriti. Madaya Kriti. Madaya Kriti. Nidita ni alad vere daya Nizani sa nizani Nani atada da undurge Nani sani da pa pa ni sa ni sa ni sa ri ga ga ma 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 ri Beautiful, beautiful I, I used to enjoy that place. Uh. This is how I got. Then I thought, I, I went through his <coughs> books. I had two volumes of Kodi Shrey with me. I started singing on the dice. Then Rajam was interested in this, so I kept, Sir, you don't have to sing any songs of Vivali, sing at least a couple of songs of Vivali, let the people know. Then I did it. And he used to always defend me. He said, Sir, I'm going to sing Vivali, I'm going to sing Vivali. He said, Sir, I'm going to sing Vivali, I'm going to sing Vivali, I'm going to sing Vivali, I'm going to sing Vivali. He was defending me in many places. And we were very good friends, very good friends. Why? His brother, Edbala Chandra, was also a very good friend of mine. Very good friend of mine. And sir, and sir, uh, finally, your compositions, you have mentioned that there are compositions and what are the types that you have composed? No, it is all on the uh, deities. No, it is all in the format. No, it is all in the Krithi format. Varnam? No, Varnam is coming. Probably, my student has gone to states. She is returning by January. Maybe by the middle of the year, the Varnams will be there. A few Tillanas are also there. Or come under one book. So, totally, how many languages are you doing? How many numbers are you doing? Three languages. Tamil, Sanskrit, Telugu and Tamil. Ah, Sanskrit, Telugu, Tamil. Sanskrit actually is easily 250 to 300 Saitas will be there. In Telugu, it will go for 500. Okay. Mostly 90% on Minakshi. Telugu Kritis. Okay. I have created a Dorotsum for Minakshi called Minakshi Dorotsum. Oh, wow. And of course Tamil. In Tamil, I think it should be 150 CD. Wow, wow. And I have published one book. First book is called Tennavan Isai Ula. Contains 44 Kritis, Tamil Kritis. And next is coming. The endorsed edition of that may contain another 30 or 40. Wow. And the book print is going to be printed. The first book. First book is in print. Okay. Wow. It is in print. Then one is a Ola. And for people who don't know, I think a year back or year and a half back, a big book containing all the Samskrita compositions of Mani Sir. 101. 101 compositions of Mani Sir has come out with Shuddha Sahityam, Adikva Varaspashta Artham, and then the notation, yellame irka, 
and it is called raja poojita with the beautiful picture of mani sir in the front page and ivlo periya book blue color la irukku ivlo height so i don't know how to define more than that i have had the pleasure of having the book nan sir ke koopta and book vaangi irke and each kriti is so beautiful adlend you can just see and see avlo inimaya irukku and they are all worth singing and we all have to sing them because you know in sanskrit i can i pray to mother let there be no grammar <laughs> so her title is rajapojita ramyam stuti geetam ha uh. as the praise of the deity no grammar so it is easily anybody can sing that and actually nama we Um, the second song it came to me i sang rajendra kanya now mm. the charanam even now it's a wonder for me how it came it can, nobody can sit and write like that mm tapasa rajendra kanya malini manchula bashini mantrini matangi atang samani paripa lini pavani parimala vasana dravyala kari digambe tattagara mani kemakuta ke mavarana padmakanta pitambe panchada sakshari sundariti hari sodari shankari mamava shyamalara jendra kanye girisute gambira ಗಜ ಮುಗ ಕುಮಾರ ಜನನಿ ಮಾಮಲಯ ಶುದ್ಧ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಶುದ್ಧ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಐ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಏನು ಒಬ್ಬಡಿ ನ್ಯೂ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಶುದ್ಧ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಐ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಹಾವ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ I think Alathur Brothers and everybody have sung them. I don't remember the beginning of the song. Um, Tamil, huh? Tamil song. Nalai Varum and Rai Nambala. Nalai Varum and Rai Nambala. Nalai Varum and Rai Nambala. Gugan Thalai Panindarul Paravayana. Velai Pidittha Kandha Velai Manamurghi Kalai Malai Iru Velai Thudikam. Ah. Uh. அழகான வாலிப மனம் கூட நேர்த்திக்கிறோம் கிழண்டு வரும் நேரம் கவலை பதசூழும் திருமுருகன் நாமம் நினைக்க நேரம் மறுபிறப்பு என்பது என்றோ தெரியவில்லை நெக்ஸ்ட் ஜென்மா எல்லி எஷ்டு ஒத்தில் ஐ திங்க் டுடே வி ஹாவ் ஸ்பெண்ட் அ வண்டர்ஃபுல் டைம் அண்ட் இது சும்மா ஒரு இன்டர்வியூ எல்லாமே போதனையாக இருக்கு வி ஹாவ் ஆல் பீன் இது வேதத்தில் எப்படி என்ன அது ஒரு இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் தான் சத்தியம் வதா தர்மம் சரா ஏன் அது கேட்கக்கூடாது தட் இஸ் நாட் ஃபார் அஸ் அப்படி தான் பெரியவர் யாரே இருக்கட்டும் அவர் சொல்லினா அது நிச்சயமாக ஆகும் அப்படி தான் செய்யணும் என்றது தான் எங்களுடைய கடமை அது like mani sir has given us so many tips right from music to spirituality to leading a healthy life le nama hindu dharma ta enda karata kondo vela kodai we have to stick to your hindu way of living there is no meaning in giving it up see that's most most important when i say hindu dharma it is nothing but sanatana dharma we have no right to, to reject it please understand we have no right sanatana dharma poshike pro you should be nurtured it should be observed each, by each individual sir we come here live here and die only finish this or what else is so the way of living is very well planned by the sanatana dharma we will go according to the plan it is very useful very helpful very healthy i don't know unless you follow it you won't know what it is ilagani vivarimpaleno chaala swaanubhavayidhe 
ಈ ಲೀಲಾ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಜಗತ್ತು ಸೊ ಸರ್ ಎನಕ್ಕೆ ಮಿಗ ಪೆರಿಯ ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದ ಭಾಗ್ಯಂ ಉಂಗ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನು ವೇರೋ ಮಿಗ ನಂಟ್ರಿ ಇದ ಕೊಡ್ಕ ಮುಡಿಯು ಒಂದು ಬೇಡ ಎಲ್ಲಮೇ ಈಶ್ವರ ದಯ ನಾನು ಪೇಸರೆ ಈಶ್ವರ ಉಳ್ಳೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ಎಪ್ಪಡಿ ಪೇಸ ಮುಡಿಯು ಅನ್ಲೆಸ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ಮೀ ಹೌ ಕುಡ್ ಐ ಟಾಕ್ ಹೌ ಕುಡ್ ಐ ಸೀ ಹೌ ಕುಡ್ ಐ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಕೃಪಾ ವೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ದಯ ಫಾರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇನ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೈನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಭಿಮಾನ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯರ್ ಅದುದಾಸ್ ಹೊಲ್ರ ವಿವೇಕ ಚೂಡಾಮಳಿ ದುರ್ಲಭಂ ತ್ರಯಮೈವೈತತ್ ದೈವಾನುಗ್ರಹ ಹೇತುಕ ಮನುಷ್ಯತ್ವ ಮುಮುಕ್ಷ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ಸಂಶಯ ಇನಕ್ಕ ಮೂಡಾವದು ಕಡಚಾಚೆ ಇನ್ನು ರೆಂಡಕ್ಕ ನಂಗೆ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಪಡಣ ಸೊ ವಿತ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ವಾಚ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಡ್ ಸಕಲ ಜನ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಭವತು ಲೋಕ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಭವತು Thank you, sir.